was your favorite uh, thing in class today? Oh. All right, see you. Let me shoot this video. Hi, welcome to our channel, at We Are Ocampo. If you're new here, please subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at We Are Ocampo. I'm coming to you from our school. Tandy uh, has moved school again. Yes, and um, she's into a new environment. Uh, yes, yeah, she is only four years old, so a lot of changes for her. And we thank God that she's taking it so well. I do have to point out that uh, this is her fourth school. The first one was in Kenya, back in Nairobi. And uh, of course, we moved to the Philippines, so um, she had to move, move school. Uh, the first school we put her in was here in BOJC with her older siblings, Tehila and Zuriel. And she got accepted, she got in. Um, she was advanced because where she was coming from in Kenya, the curriculum was a bit ahead, 844 or um, what was the new system? CBC. CBC, the new curriculum, it has just kicked in. It was a new curriculum. And so uh, when she came over here, she was uh, you know, swimming with the big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and she was coping up. Uh, however, the class decided, along with the teacher, to focus on the other students. There was three and the rest were five, but she was learning the same material. material. So that's uh, the, first, the, the first time that she had to wait. Uh, so that was her second school. And finally, we said we couldn't wait anymore. We found a school uh, close to where we were living. Uh, in the previous home which was just literally across the street from our gate and so we put her there it was a kindergarten and she was doing well she loved her classmate there of course the teachers and i believe uh, some of you watched the competition where she won second place uh, in the crispy and the math and yeah she was doing well uh, yeah, excuse the school noise. Uh, we are in school, the students. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, and then uh, we moved houses. We moved houses, which was a bit farther from that school. And then we found a, a, another school, also a great school. So that's why now she's in her fourth school. So she did make the transfer already. We had to pull her out. It was so sad for her to leave. Of course, she already made friends and uh, her classmates were really close to her. Uh, the parents there, we, we got close to them, as well as the teachers, they were wonderful. So it's just a bit of a challenge, you know, emotionally again and transferring again, and new school uniforms again. Uh, but we thank God because this new school is also wonderful. It's a Christian school, and uh, it's a larger class than where she was coming from. And, um, I was surprised because I was expecting a, a pushback from her or at least that transition challenge, you know, um, getting to know the people. And she took it so well. The teacher was so accommodating and the environment, the teachers. In fact, when they did a visit with Reverend Liz, she was just open to everyone and to everything there in that school before she even started on her first day. And she was so excited even with the first day, the second day. Uh, there were some challenges, of course, you know, some boys in the class. Uh, <laughs> you know how boys are. But she's taking it in stride. And then now she's, I, I would dare say, you know, she's, she's blended it so well. So this is her fourth school. And we thank God for her and, and that the school accepted us as well. Because, you know, it's not easy. It's not all schools that accept a transferee um, in the middle, you know, in the middle of the, the year. So we thank God for this school and we look forward to her having a great time and yes, that's the reason for the trend. So I'm getting Tandy from school, from high school. How 
was your new school? What, how, what do you like about your new school? When I'm making a friend with Gia. Do you have a new friend called Gia? Yes. Oh, shout out to Gia. So we're just going to go shopping a little bit after school. Hi, Sandy. Hi. You've been in your new school for one week now. You're a scout now? Yeah. Okay, school. Okay, let's go. And tell us about your school. It's nice to have a new school. You like your new school? Yes. So yeah, we are really excited for Candy uh, that she did not panic. That is the sound of a house with five children. Excuse the noise. <laughs> so anyway, we are uh, excited that she didn't have a hard time entering a new school. Again, like we said, she's been in four schools and she's just four years old. But she was able to get in and it's been about uh, two weeks since the new school school year began here in the philippines uh, the school year begins around february there and so she's been able to enter and just have a wonderful time so far and we just thank god for that we hope hopefully that she'll not be able to change for a while and just be able to settle because if there's one child who's not been settled here in the philippines it's been sandy um, because of her age issue with kenya philippines uh, education system but we're hopefully that uh, it will be a final settlement and we love the school i like the school i like the fact that they also recognized us as pastors gave us a pastor discount <laughs> i like that any day <laughs> and they don't know the channel you know so because you know when you write career i mean occupation of the parents and we're filling the forms and we wrote pastors and they're like oh wow you're pastors we have a pastor discount and so i love that i'm like thank you any day <laughs> you know <laughs> but uh yeah so and the school is run by a church so all their programs are very christ-centered you know uh the previous one wasn't run by a church uh but uh and then the previous one was doing halloween and all that so i really like this one um not to dismiss the other one she did a lot in the other one but uh this one because of christ being at the center of the studies to me is everything that's what i desire my child um not so much on the education but knowing god because the fear of god is the beginning of all wisdom uh so you're asking why the glasses today Liz? <laughs> <laughs> I have a 2020 vision, but this is a new product from our company. It cancels the blue light. And I spend a lot of time on gadgets, you know, editing and doing all those things. So, yeah, uh, so this just cancels the blue light and helps you not know, to spoil your 2020 vision. So I just put it once in a while. Also, I'm on no makeup here. Y'all been complaining about my makeup lately, but I haven't changed. It's just the lighting, which has been off. It has nothing to do with the makeup. But, uh, but that's not the reason. I, I've just been so busy today, you know. Again, being a mother of five is a lot of work. But this week, we are revealing the face of our fifth child. I hope you do look forward to it. And... Till next time, may God truly bless you. Bye-bye.